Hi there. <laughs> All right. I'm Beth from Micro Rides. Zia from Night Riker. And we're working on a collaborative video about riding two up on the Rikers. So I have a 900 and he has a 900 Rally. So his is already set up for two up. So we're going to go over to Zia's bike. We're going to go check it out. And we'll talk a little bit about what needs to get done in order for comfort level of riding the rally. So the first thing, if you have a rally, which you don't have this on the 900, is you do have this dampening switch here, which makes for a stiffer or a more softer, softer yeah, ride. Sure. Yeah. Um, so when you have more weight on the bike, you need to make it a more stiffer ride so you're not kind of bottoming it out and this isn't hitting this, so it adjusts your rear shock. So you usually ride with what a two by yourself? Me, if I if I have no luggage whatsoever, then I'm I'm at one because one is quite cushy. Uh, now if you're riding with somebody, <laughs> cut. <laughs> yeah. So if I'm with some, if I have some luggage, like if I have this filled up and I have a top case, then I'll go up to two. Uh, but lately I've been just riding with one, and you see I have a, a link rack up uh, up here usually instead of the passenger seat and the side saddle case. And for me, one is just fine. It doesn't bottom out and it, it stays soft. Uh, so you want to, you, you just want to look at your comfort, right? When you're at this, you want to look at your comfort. So, so with me on, yeah, I already weigh like 90 pounds. That's not true. Um, what should it's, I'm like 118 ish. Yeah. So I'm, what, I'm 130. So what should, um, what should we have it on for our weight? Would you guess? So what we can do is we can try a couple of settings here. I think, uh, we can uh, go up to, uh, the, the two settings. Uh, so if we go up to the two settings, since we have no luggage and, uh, you know, this, this, actually this side case is empty. So since this is empty, we have no luggage, I, I would say two is good. Now, if we feel like it's bottoming out, then we'll switch it up to three, but I don't think it should. I'm hoping uh, I don't bottom it out. That'd yeah. be embarrassing if I'm on the back and I bottom it out. Yeah. I'd, I'd like, all right. But also a really important thing to remember when you're not riding two up, these need to get put away mm -hmm. because it actually changes the computer settings um, and the, the anti- um, Absolutely, and plus yeah. if you have these down and you have a rally, you can't go into rally mode. It will not kick in right. rally mode. So if you're into going it's on- It's a safety feature. Yeah, it's a safety feature, exactly. So make yeah. sure if you're not riding two up, you always put these in the up position. Yeah, and they just have a sensor in here on this side, I believe on the left side. That's how uh, the bike can tell if the pegs are down or not, the passenger uh, foot pegs. So, uh, but yeah, as you can see over here, uh, we have the uh, seat. This is not a comfort seat now, uh, but but what I did purchase was a backrest because the if big, you, the big folding one. yeah the folding uh, big, the big folding backrest because uh, because it just adds to the comfort I think you know because it because uh, you know I have I have never ridden as a passenger I haven't and, either I haven't and she hasn't either so yeah. this is gonna be a first for both of us you know so this is the collab video we were talking about that we're gonna bring something is this. So it's going to be interesting to see how each of us feels, you know, because... And we're going to switch because yeah. we've never, we've also never ridden with a passenger on the back. So halfway through, we're going to switch and yeah. see how it feels to ride with a passenger and also to be a passenger. Right. So, so it should be cool. So I've actually had my daughter on here, but I was so scared for her because she was, it's her first time. I didn't even go in the twisty. So over here, if you look down that way, look at the view down there, we have elevation and twisty. So this is going to be the first time having a passenger uh, with all these curves. So it's, it's a lot of responsibility. So that's what we're going to talk about and and how we feel, what we felt as a rider, uh, as a passenger. So uh, so that's to come. Let's sit up and do this. Yeah, absolutely. All right, guys. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, start the video, uh, uh, the ride video. <clears throat> so we've got uh, Beth here. So she's going to ride as a passenger first, and I'm going to be uh, at the helm. And then we're going to go down that road. And then what we'll do is uh, stop somewhere in the middle and swap seats. So she's going to be at the helm and I'm going to ride at the back. And, uh, and then I'm going to experience riding as a passenger for the first time too, because I've never done that. So uh, let's go ahead and get this started and uh, let's get the show on the road. All right, my turn. There we go. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and head out. 
this is one way so we're gonna go down uh, I'm gonna go down the road here so guys the uh, the whole idea is just to be as safe as possible uh, because you are not riding alone you have to be very careful of uh, and plan ahead when you're riding so that way your, your passenger feels safe you know what I mean so uh, we don't we don't want to make any certain kind of movements uh, you know when you're alone you're taking these curves at a much higher speed you know you're you're moving back and forth here and there but with a passenger the bikes get heavy uh, you know the uh, I'm not saying Beth is heavy <laughs> you know but the bike does get heavy so so what happens is your your braking distance uh, gets uh, wider as well gets a bit longer uh, so so you have to watch out for all those things as you take the curve uh, you know you have to have some things discussed with your passengers beforehand so for example uh, before we got on uh, Beth and I we talked about uh, we talked about certain uh, signals to give each other if everything is good uh, so you know when you're riding with a passenger just every once in a while just go back there and uh, you know just kind of look through the mirror and just make sure everything is good you get the hand signal back everything is good everything is good keep going so so that's one hand signal that we do the second one I've we discussed was hey if she needs to talk to me because we don't have comms uh, connected we don't have any comms uh, so the first thing I said was uh, hey let's go ahead and uh, uh, go ahead and uh, tap my shoulder if there's something you you want to tell me something you want to say to me or if you want to just talk to me or bring something to my attention tap my shoulder a few times and I'll know that you're trying to say something to me so so that's number two number three was if something goes wrong uh, or we need to stop immediately uh, then uh, the signal is to tap the top of my helmet so tap the top of my helmet a few times and that'll give me the signal that we need to find a the safest place and we need to stop so uh, so that's uh, that's that's the three signs that we have discussed as uh, you know before getting on the bike so uh, so we have the damping uh, the rebound damping set at two and so far it seems okay I, I have a feeling that it is a little bit uh, a little bit softer I think we may be uh, slightly dipping down a bit but again we'll find out uh, more uh, from a different angle but so far it feels all right I don't feel like uh, there's any there's any issue so uh, so everything is going fine uh, you know the other thing is always uh, make sure that your passenger is has proper safety gear on you should as well uh, you know but like I am today for sure I've got my jacket my gloves uh, you know helmet everything on and you have to make sure your passenger is wearing proper safety gear as well because it's no different than uh, you know being in a car when you're in a car you always tell your passengers to wear uh, wear their seat belts right I mean I don't go anywhere until my passenger is wearing a seat belt so uh, so same thing safety gear is a must uh, what else and and basically you know you want to you want to if it's a new rider you want to explain to them how the bike is going to act in turns and you want to tell them what to expect and what they need to do on their end uh, to counter the forces of physics right so uh, in a two wheel this is very important especially uh, because you know if your bike's leaning you're leaning with the bike the passenger doesn't uh, that's a problem right there you know the bike will not turn as easily or not at all so in a three wheel you don't have that leaning issue except you do have uh you know you, you do need to lean with the bike that's where physics comes into place right so if you don't lean and i turn left it's like when you're in a car you might fall down on the other end so that's something you must uh tell your rider that hey when the turns come up you you must lean so i usually just tell them lean with me that's it that way they know that hey once a turn comes up they know what to do so it's very important to communicate with your your uh, passenger before you guys start whoa we had a turn there <laughs> see we had a sharp turn there just came up 
and looks like they're doing some construction so they just uh, you know they just uh, uh, turn uh, or I guess they just made the turn a little bit more sharper than it, what it used to be is from what I remember <laughs> so so yeah so so see a good thing the passenger grabbed a hold of the shoulders uh, and uh, everything was good I st stepped on the brakes a little bit so I did not step on the brakes very hard because I didn't want the bike to go out of control so that was a good example there but that was a uh, that was a blind spot that came up so yeah so it's very important that you uh, you have discussed everything with your passenger and they know what needs you know what to expect how the bike is gonna behave and uh, you just have to watch out uh, plan ahead a little bit more because the bikes gonna take longer to stop and obviously uh, in certain cases it's gonna take longer to get up to speed as well so you have to you have to plan everything ahead of time so anyway so what we're gonna do right now is we are going to swap the seats and we'll see how how it goes this is my first time so so you know not sure how that what, what to expect but I'm gonna use my same whatever I've been talking about in the video I'm gonna use that as the same thing and uh, we'll go ahead and get on the bike and get started all right I'll hop on so I'll probably hop on a little differently <laughs> so I'll probably go up here all right all right here we go so i am going as a passenger for the first time and beth is now riding uh, has taken the helm so this is the view i have as a passenger i've got the uh, camera mounted right at the chin area of the uh, helmet and And you definitely sit on top of the bike that's for sure so so when you're uh, when you're at the helm you're uh, you know you feel like you're sitting inside the bike it's a lot different you know even when you're taking the turns it's you know the center of gravity is much lower here when you're sitting as a passenger you're obviously t sitting taller so it's different so this is where this is where earlier we had to uh, make an emergency sort of a break and then turn uh, and uh, this is something that they uh, they just recently changed because they're doing construction had no idea that they turned the road sharp to the right but also that was a learning experience for us so uh, so you know we uh, you know I, I, I stepped on the brakes uh, turned right I saw Beth was uh, you know going over to the left and as a as a reaction my hand came out my left hand came out uh to the back to try to catch her in case uh but we weren't going that fast at speeds or anything like crazy like that at all so it's not like we we're doing you know illegal speeds where we we're gonna get in trouble but but that was a good little uh learning experience and something that we uh that i'm glad was uh captured on camera so that way you guys uh would know that uh, you know there's more care that needs to be taken so that's yeah, pretty much uh, all I have is uh, just to you know just to be uh, careful I guess uh, plan ahead with your stops and your pull uh, and your pulls you know because the bike's gonna get a little bit slower slower uh, not not that that's gonna make a huge difference but uh, that definitely the brakes are gonna take effect they're gonna it's gonna take longer to stop so Make sure you have proper gear on. Make sure you keep communicating with each other. Here we go. We're going to do these fast turns here. Yeah, so I've got the folding backrest here, which is which is a huge plus because in spirited riding, you know, it, it adds to the level of comfort and kind of gives you confidence that you won't fall over behind the bike. And we're back. Important thing is to 
you know just lean with the bike even though this is a three-wheeler you still have to lean just because of physics you know what i mean so all right we're here bed announced we are here so that was the ride guys it's uh you know it's always different when you're riding with uh a passenger or as a passenger so that's something you have to be careful of um, we've had <laughs> you know we were both feeling a little uneasy i guess but uh, that's just part of uh gaining the experience you know how was it uh, i found driving was great um i did find i need a little more effort to break mm -hmm. um, so um but i found um i almost didn't even know you were there as a, as a driver as a passenger I felt a little uneasy around the turns. Yeah, the, the turns kind of throws you a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so you said that you didn't even feel I was there. A few more miles an hour speed, it could have been true. I would <laughs> could have been not there. But the the thing is that. <laughs> no, no, no. The thing is that you know anything could happen, and you know just a little while ago we went through that turn, which was a blind spot, yeah. and we weren't going very fast, but the construction turned the lane immediately to the right so my first reaction was to kind of slow down turn but then my hand went out because I didn't want you to fall out it's just part and parcel of learning yes. uh, you know because you can have emergency maneuvers come up yeah. how are you going to react to that but definitely when you sit on the passenger seat mm -hmm. Uh, it's a it's higher so you don't feel like you're sitting in the bike as a as a yeah. taking the helm you feel like you're inside the bike right I, I like the view of feeling that you're on top kind of and I like that yeah. part that our helmets were banging you know that it wasn't yeah. level I did like that view yeah but but being that it uh, you're sitting up higher the center of gravity is higher so on turns it you know you really feel it a lot more uh, if you were obviously if you're yeah it a little more aggressively just for the experiment of, of what it would be like yeah but i think if i was driving um you know no offense if i was driving a loved one around not that i don't love you so much <laughs> but um i would be, I'd be driving I, you know like you have to do it if i had my son on the back i wouldn't yeah. be driving that aggressive i'd be taking the turns much slower um, and I'd be driving yeah, yeah. at a store. No, I agree with you. I mean, uh, I've already ridden with my daughter and that video's up there and I have taken the straightest roads I could possibly take, yeah. very slow, yeah. continuously, uh, you know, checking with her if uh, she's okay, everything's good. Uh, but, you know, this was in the name of science. Yeah. You know, this was an experiment, <laughs> you know. I would definitely, I would feel very comfortable taking the passenger at any time. Um, I would just make sure that I am... It's straight away is the best. So in Florida, I'm good to go. I'm yeah. Thinking, you know, south and west. But around here, the twist is really You have to be careful. Uh, and I think if you're going to uh, bring a passenger from your home up here to the lake or something, then yeah. then obviously taking it easy is the best way to do it. Now, if you're riding alone, you can kind of be spirited, whatnot. And you can be a little spirited with your passenger too for a short distance yeah. as long as the passenger is aware what to expect yeah. and what needs to be done, right? So... But no, that was that was pretty interesting. So, uh, guys, I'm going to end my video right here. I just wanted to bring you my experience. And uh, I know Beth's going to continue. She wants to ride with uh, uh, Brian, who's uh, taller and heavier than me, and see how that affects the bike. So she's going to continue on there. But, yeah, this has been a good experience. I've never ridden as a passenger before. So a little, little different for sure. Would I do it? Uh, would I do it again? <laughs> no, I probably won't ride as a passenger unless I am stuck and I have to. But uh, but yeah, it's, it's definitely it was definitely an experience. But anyway, guys, uh, let me know in the comments below what else, uh, what other uh, tips and tricks you have for riding with a passenger and as a passenger. So that would be really awesome. And I hope you liked the video. And uh, this was a collab video between uh, Riker Rides and the Night Riker, Beth and Zia. So uh, this is pretty cool. So this is nothing new, but we just wanted to bring you a quick video on how what it felt like uh, to be a, a rider and a passenger. So thanks a lot. And please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Until next time, be safe. <laughs>